Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm just going to talk briefly about the fact that I got an MRI scan. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... I got an MRI scan done on my shoulder. It was my decision. I had to pay for it. I had to pay for the doctor's fee to get a referral to get it done. And so I would never go through all of that shit without really believing that, you know, something, something's not right. And, and that's how I'm feeling right now, you know. This is a secret. I didn't want to tell anyone. I hadn't told anyone. I've gone through a couple of rugby trainings. I've played rugby. I've been back in the gym, as you guys know, trying to put on size, trying to put on my, my weight that I'd lost earlier in the year. And I'm going through my motions. I'm going through certain movements. And the, the outside of my shoulder starts hurting. Now, it'll hurt when I try and do a pull down. It hurts at the back here. It'll hurt when I try and do a row. It hurts on the outside and at the back. Whenever I'm reaching across my chest, it really, really hurts. Like in the in the in the middle. It's not it's not at the side. It's really underneath. It's like a, it's like you can't really pinpoint it. And so, first thing that pops in my mind is rotator cuff. Now, I had I had a rotator cuff tear when I was 19. I'd come to Australia. I was playing rugby. The ball was out in front of me. I kicked it out in front. It was over the try line. I dived out like this and I landed on the ground, okay? My body was this way, my arm was this way, and I landed on the ground. And injuries to the shoulder, to the rotator cuff, very commonly happen in sport when you do land on the ground with your arm outstretched. So I had a torn rotator cuff. I never got it checked, I never went to the hospital. I remember I was 19, I was actually working a desk job at the time, so I could continue working. I couldn't train. And I couldn't even like take a, a t-shirt off. I had a girlfriend at the time, she'd help me take my t-shirts off. It took me six weeks until I could even lift, lift my arm above halfway. All right, now that was something wrong. That was, that was really something wrong. It, it, it healed by itself, obviously. It felt probably a little bit iffy for maybe two or three years. Now, now that I've actually got a, a problem in my right shoulder, it's sort of, it's taken that away. I don't even think about it anymore. So when I'm in the gym, my left shoulder seems fine, although it didn't like five months ago. Now that I've actually got pain in my right shoulder, it's, it seems fine. So I'm concentrating my right shoulder now. And to be honest, I can sort of pinpoint the, the pain onto one, it seems tendon, I assume. I don't exactly know what it is. You know, as you, as you feel around your shoulder, you've got like, you know, little tendons that go down in the direction of the muscle fibers. There's one here that really, really stands out as being painful now. I can't tell what it is, I don't know what it is. But I know that that's the point that hurts when I bring it across the front, especially when I raise it above my head and try to bring it across, it really fucking hurts. And you know, it's, it's a nagging pain. And, and like I said, with, with rotator cuff injuries being caused by having your arm outstretched, I have my right arm outstretched pretty much every night when I go to sleep. And that's not good for your shoulder health. You know, I will go to sleep with my arm like that and my, my head resting on my arm pretty much every night and so recently for the last few months I haven't been able to do that because it hurts so I'll bring my arm underneath me I'll get another another pillow underneath my left arm to sort of raise me up a little bit off the bed um, and, and and it's yeah overall man it just doesn't feel good so it came a time and place for me to finally get the scan done and that's what I've done so I went to the doctor I got a referral Luckily, I was able to get the MRI scan straight away. I didn't have to wait like a week, which is what some people would have to do here in Alice Springs. And so I've got uh, an appointment in three days with my doctor to run through the results. He hasn't told me anything yet. So that's it. I mean, an MRI scan, what is it? It's a 20 minute scan. It's a magnetic, magnetic something, something. It gives a complete 3D picture of your shoulder or of your knee or of your elbow, or whatever you want to take an MRI scan of, it gives a complete 3D picture of it. Not only bone, but also tissue, tendons, muscle, fluid. So if there is a tear in my rotator cuff, you're going to be able to see it. It's going to be surrounded by inflammation and there is going to be separation in that, in that rotator cuff. I don't believe it's completely torn. I believe it, it may be like a grade two or three which means that it's partially torn, in which case it's probably going to be just rehab. I don't know, I don't know what sort of options they're going to give me to try and fix it. But like I said, man, this is a nagging pain that hasn't gone away for four or five months. I went to Bali recently. I decided, you know what? I know there's a problem. 
before I come back to Australia and, and book in for this MRI scan, I'm going to give it complete rest for two weeks. And that's what I did. I didn't train it for two weeks. I didn't do nothing. I felt like maybe trying to come back in the gym too fast too soon was, was aggravating it, whatever was wrong with it. You know, if it's not a torn rotator cuff, it's, it's uh, bursitis, I believe, which is inflammation of, of the bursa, which is the, the fat pad at the end of your shoulder as you bring it up. Now, even just doing that, it, it's, it's sort of like, it's, it's shaky, man. It's, it's on shaky ground. My shoulder is not 100% healthy. And so that's, that's what I got this MRI scan for. I will be updating you of the results. This video was just to let you guys know. I mean, a lot of you are quite invested in my journey as far as playing sport. And so it's only right for me to update you and tell you exactly what's going on. I didn't want to have to. I didn't want to have to tell you because... Who knows who could be watching this? Someone who wants to give me a shot? Possibly. You never know, man. You never know. That's the power of YouTube. It's the power of the internet. You never know who's watching your stuff. But, you know, I'm really eager to see what these results say. And if it wasn't for me going in there on my own accord, getting a referral, saying to the doctor, I literally walked into the doctor, I said, I need an MRI. That's the only reason I'm here. He did a few tests. I'd actually trained earlier in the day. And what happens, man, when I, when I train, when I train my shoulder or my chest or, or my back and I get a bit of blood around the area, it does lessen the pain. But I feel like that's just because it's got cushioning there. Once I wake up the next day, all the pump is gone, all the blood's gone, it feels just as bad. So when I actually went into the doctor's office, Murphy's Law, whenever you fucking have something wrong, you go into the doctor's office, they say, oh, does this hurt, does this hurt? It's like, fuck, well, no, nah, it doesn't really hurt. And that's what I told him. I was like, man, it's not going to really hurt as bad as it normally does. Like he pulled it across here. Um, if I put my arm across my back and pull it forward like that, that, that aggravates it. But, you know, after training, it wasn't as bad. I said to him, look, regardless of what happens in this test, I want an MRI scan. Give it to me. He gave me the referral. I went and got it done. I'm happy. It cost me 275 Australian dollars to get an MRI scan done. I've got private health cover. They don't give me back anything for that. But if I do need shoulder surgery, it's covered. So I can get in quickly, get it done, whatever needs doing, get onto a rehabilitation plan and uh, get back into it. And that's all I can say. So at the moment, I still have this nagging pain. Just know that, that we're getting through it. I'm still training. For example, if I'm doing bench press, if I go really out wide, it, fuck, it hurts, man. It hurts the outside of my shoulder. Something's... And to be honest, it's, it feels like it's connected down into my lat and into my, into my tricep. Like I feel that, that, nag, that pain sort of transfer down here and down here sometimes. And I don't know what that is, man. If you know, if you think you know what's going on, let me know in the comment section below. But really, I shouldn't be trusting my comment section with my shoulder health. So that's why I went to go get it in black and white, an MRI scan to tell me exactly what's going on. I don't even know what I hope is going on. If, if it's a small tear and they say no surgery, it's like, well, fuck, it's been sore for five or six months. You know, what else can I do? But if they say it's a complete tear and it needs surgery, I'll be disappointed because it's like a, a, a period of rehabilitation, but at least I'll know exactly what's happening and I'll come back stronger. I tore my adductor a year ago. It took me six months to be able to load it up, but now I firmly believe that it, it, it's stronger. It's stronger than before. It, it takes time to heal, but once it does, it really heals stronger. It's like being a Super Saiyan. You know what I mean? So I'm hoping that whatever happens to my shoulder, if I do have to get it repaired, it'll only repair and hold stronger in the future, and that's all I can hope for. But for now, you guys know everything. I know nothing, but hopefully I will soon, and I'll update you as soon as I do. So thanks for being here, guys. If you have enjoyed the video, if you want to support me and the channel, hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. I'll be back. I'll be back, don't worry. We're putting some mass on, man. I feel good. I feel good. So I'll see you later.